Well, 25 years ago, Iranian and Hezbollah agents bombed the, um, uh, the Jewish Community Center in Buenos Aires, Argentina, killing 85 people. One America's Neil McCabe reports from Washington about a conference uh, regarding the threat of Hezbollah. Take a look. Texas Republican Senator Ted Cruz told a Capitol Hill conference sponsored by the Center for a Secure Free Society that Americans cannot turn a blind eye to Iranian and Hezbollah terrorist cells operating in Latin America 25 years after the EMEA bombing. The EMEA bombing was not the first or the last terror attack carried out by Hezbollah in Latin America or around the world. And yet, over two decades after the bombing, Hezbollah is still very much alive and active in the tri-border area that encompasses the borders of Argentina, Brazil, and Paraguay. Cruz praised Argentina for taking leadership in Latin America by calling out Hezbollah as a terrorist organization. I commend Argentina for blacklisting Hezbollah the first Latin American country to do so. Malcolm Honline is the executive vice president of the Conference of Presidents of Major American Jewish Organizations. He told One American News he remembers when he first heard about the bombing at the AMIA Jewish Community Center in Buenos Aires that killed 85 individuals and injured hundreds others. I was in New York at the time of the bombing and was alerted about it within minutes of its occurrence. and. Um, we didn't realize the true magnitude because they didn't know the number of casualties. Online said the bombing could have been avoided. And it wasn't a shock because we who have monitored the situation went to Argentina. We tried to talk to, to the president of Argentina. We met with them in New York. Uh, uh, we met in, in uh, Buenos Aires to warn about this. Iran and Hezbollah's involvement goes back many years. John Cronin, the principal deputy assistant attorney general of the Justice Department's criminal division, represented DOJ at the conference. He said Hezbollah does not get enough attention because it operates in the shadows. You know, to some extent, Hezbollah has avoided the global notoriety captured by the likes of Al-Qaeda and ISIS, thanks largely to sophistication and secrecy of act its activities. But Hezbollah's ability to evade rec regular front page headlines in no way diminishes the threat the terrorist organization poses. For us, history is about the future. Because what we do today determines that future. What lessons we learn from the past helps us assure that future generations will have a more secure future. Neil W. McCabe, One American News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.